Hello everyone, welcome to episode 5 of my animation tutorial. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make it easier to swap body parts on your character. Or any of the images you want to swap. So say if you want, uh, if you want to make another character but you don't want to create any more bones or anything, I'm going to be showing you guys how to replace the body parts. Or how to make it easier. And I consider this a mandatory tutorial. So, well, like the body turn tutorial, I th which I think was episode three. Um, you you could skip that if you want, but uh, I suggest you actually do this just to make it easier. And I might uh have more tutorials that require this. So, so I. Th this is mandatory, basically. I would think. Anyways, uh, the first thing we're gonna do is uh, come to your character folder. Just open it. And what we're actually gonna do in this tutorial is basically put everything in group folders. So it's gonna be a pretty easy one to follow. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard for you. So if if you can see here, we have some some um some layers in our character folder. They're already in group folders like our front hands, the head, and the hips. Uh, I think we have to make group, more groups for those too. But uh, for for now, we're just gonna do the ones that aren't in groups. So like the front arm, for example, uh, it's not in a group folder, or the front forearm. So so we're just gonna make group folders for those. And actually before that, we are going to unbind everything that's not in a group folder. So come here to the front arm and oh, um, make sure you're on frame zero again. Because if you're not on frame zero, you won't get some of these options over here on the left. So yeah, make sure you're on frame zero. And we're going to come over here to the front arm folder. Make sure it's selected come over here to bind layer click it and then we're just gonna click off of all of the bones so it unbinds that layer and we're gonna do the same thing for everything else that's not in the folder so the front forearm click on it unbind the layer just click off of all the bones the front thigh do the same thing back thigh back arm and back forearm. Uh, those should be the only ones that aren't in folders. If you didn't follow the body turn tutorial, if you did, it, no, if you didn't follow the body turn tutorial, you should have more that aren't in folders, and you can just unbind those as well. But if you did, those should be all the ones that aren't binded. And actually, if you want to, you can just unbind everything, actually. I think that'll make it easier. We'll just unbind everything. So click uh, on everything inside of your character folder and just unbind it. Unbind that. And that, that should be it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to put everything in a folder. So this front arm here, you're going to click on the front arm layer. New layer and select group and just name that group f arm ooh let's type there so f arm and just drag that front arm into that group and actually we're going to take the color off of this front arm we're going to make it plain and we're going to make this front arm folder green or whatever color you had the front arm in the first place. And we're just going to do that for everything. So. Select the group. While you're over the front forearm. Uh, change the name. To. F. Four. Arm. Drag the front forearm into that group. And you can change the colors if you want. Change that to green. And just do that for every single one that is not in a folder. 
So what's this? The front thigh. F thigh. Front thigh. Change the color. Red. And by doing this, it should be easier to change the body parts, like I said, and you can actually um, you can actually add more body parts without having to rig anything uh, when you do this, because you can just drag stuff into this folder, for example, thigh, can't spell for some reason, change the color, uh, what was it, purple? And two more left, so the back arm, group, the arm, and what's this, the back forearm, group, why can't I spell for some reason, B, for arm, okay. So now we just change the colors. Orange, orange, plain. And that should be everything in the folder. Um, now you can actually rebind all these layers if you want. Well. Yeah, j just rebind all of these. So to see which one it is, you know, you can hide it and show it again just to see what it is. Make sure you're on the bind layer tool. Make sure you're on the right folder as well. Make sure the right folder is highlighted because that can be a problem. So we have the front hand highlighted. Click on the front hand. Come down here. Make sure it's highlighted. Front arm front forearm and just do that for everyone the head we can rebind the head hips front thigh front shin back thigh back shin body back hand back arm and back forearm so that should be everything binded. If you want to check it, come up to your character folder, manipulate bones, move it around, see if everything works. Everything should be binded correctly. Yeah. Mm, yeah, everything's good. So after you do that, we actually are going to come into these other folders. So the front. I, actually, I think the front hands are okay. We don't have to do those. But we'll do the head. Yeah. So if you follow me how I did the head, uh, we made this front folder for the head. So we're actually going to make... Well, actually, I'll change the name of this. I'll just name this front. Front. And we'll, we'll actually make another folder for the back of the head. So group with selection, or just create a group and drag this back head into it, and we'll just name this back. And come back up here to head, you can right click because it was already a switch layer, and we're just going to switch it to front. Make sure you're on frame zero as well. Yeah, and we'll do the hips as well. Open the hips folder. And we're going to make groups for all of these. So we'll create a group. Call this front. Drag the front, the front hip into this. You can't see it because it's a switch layer. So, well, I know that this is the front one. You, you can actually switch it to the hips just to see which one you're working with. So this is the front. And we'll drag this into the front folder. We're actually going to need to switch, change the actions as well if you did do the body turn. But we're going to be doing that later. So the front hips is in there. This is the side hips. So 
create a group with selection side and the back group with selection back come back to the hips and we can just switch that to the front front thigh uh, the thighs are okay the shin uh, we can create folders for the shins too so we'll group that with selection we'll name this front and this is the back shin group with selection back and switch this to the front uh, skip the back thigh, back shin, do the same thing. Group with selection, front, back, group with selection, back. And the body's next, actually switch this to front, body. And just do the same thing with all of these, except the ones that I'm skipping. Front group side drag the center back switch it to the front back hand we don't need to, we don't need to do the hands or the arm so we we'll just do the oh we don't need to do the forearm either actually so that is that so now um if we actually try to do this if you did the body turn uh you can see it doesn't switch like the his body isn't switching to the other ones we're about to fix that right now and the pelvis shouldn't do it either. well the hips they shouldn't do it either or the uh the shins so we're gonna just go ahead and fix that right now if you didn't do the body turn you can just skip this part uh, I'll put a, a timestamp of where to go if you want to skip this so come up here to window actions and we're just gonna go into upper body turn and we are well just double click on upper body turn and make sure the arrow is there then we're gonna come to uh, the body so click on the body and you can see these turns are still here so we're just gonna delete this delete and on frame one we're gonna switch this to the front so right click and select front frame two that's the side pose right click select side body right click and select back and that is that done now the only thing we have to do now is the lower body come to lower body come over here to hips select all that delete on frame one right click front frame two right click side frame three right click back and that should be fixed now you can double click on mainline to get back we can just exit that out now if we come back up here to the character folder and we use this you can see the body turns work like they did before and you can just switch the head by coming to the head right clicking select back or select front so that is that done I think we're actually done with everything now so to switch your character body parts uh, you can just come up come up to here or wherever you had the body parts at and let's say I want to change his arms to uh, the spider-man arms right so I'm gonna come up here to Steve and I'm just gonna drag both of these in there and um, 
I think that's good. I'll just do those for right now. So I'm going to change his arms to these. So what we're going to do is come over here to the front arm, open this folder, and we're going to drag this one into that folder. And then with the transform layer tool selected, we're just going to drag it right above that arm. And we can just delete the other one. So that deleted the original arm that was there. And now, if we move our character, you can see it's already connected. We didn't have to rig anything else or anything. So we can just do the same thing with the other one. So back arm, open that. We're going to drag this all the way down into it. Uh, we'll make sure the transforms layer tool is selected. Put it right over the other one. And we'll just delete this one. And yeah, we don't have to rebind it or anything. We don't have to um, make a whole new layer for it. Uh, and it just works. So you can do that for all the other body parts. And another reason I did this, uh, I decided to, to do this tutorial list because if you want to add like logos to your character, so say I want a Spider-Man logo on his shirt right here. You can open the body. We're going to open this front folder here. And we're going to click on the shirt just so it's easier. And I want this Spider-Man logo to be on his shirt. So we'll just drag that into Moho. It's really big. Scale that down a little bit. Again, to scale down, you can click on this little edge circle here and uh, bring it in a little bit. So we're just going to scale that down, put it on this shirt, twist it a little bit, and it's already connected, so you can come back up here to your Steve folder. And if you move his body, the logo moves with him, if you can see. So you, d you don't have to bind it to anything, and it just works perfectly. So yeah, that's all I wanted to show in this, tutor this tutorial. Um, again, this is mandatory in my opinion, just to make it easier to switch characters. And yeah, I think that's the end of this. If you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe. In the next tutorial, I might show you guys how to do auras for your character. And then, I actually got a couple more su suggestions. I did ask in a community post. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to do eyes. Um, maybe a little fight scene. Possibly. And some other stuff. If you do have questions or anything you want me to go over in these tutorials, you can ask me down in the comments. Because... Uh, I, I, I didn't really get many suggestions, so if you do have questions, I know some of you watch this, not everyone who watches it watches the whole thing, so yeah, if you do watch the whole thing and you do have questions, uh, let me know down in the comments, and I will try and do those in a future future tutorials, so yeah, thank you guys for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you understood, and I'll see y'all in the next episode.